What up, Joanna? Oh, she hasn't connected to audio yet. Morning, Joanna. All right, let's get everybody's slides right here. Nobody else is coming in. All right, good morning. Happy Friday. Hope you all are ready to rock. So we're going to start out. Everybody should have a mini band at their station. We're going to go ahead and put that on around your feet. Joanna, do you have a mini band? Sweet. We're going to go right around like the shoestrings. So keep it close to your ankle. Don't let it get all the way to your toes. So we've got two movements we're going to go through with the band around your feet. And then we got two movements we're going to go through with the band, or three movements with the band around your knees. So we're going to leave this thing on the whole time so that we can get you primed up for deadlifts. So the first one, Stephanie will demonstrate. We've got 10 lateral steps each way. You can just go, you can go all one way, you can go back and forth, whatever works. Just notice she's keeping her toes straight forward. That's very, very important for this movement so that it's done correctly. Then we're going to go into 10 banded marches. So she's just going to try to keep that spine nice and tall and not round her back as she lifts her knees. Um, you go 10 of those each leg. Then we'll take that band, slide it up right around the knees. And then we're going to go 10 banded squats, keeping those knees out nice and strong, get deep on those squats. Then we'll drop down on the floor. We're going 10 banded clamshells each side. So touching those feet together, and it's like you're just rolling that knee up and rolling it back down like a windshield wiper. Then and 10 each side on that. Then we'll go heels dug into the floor. Notice she's got her hands turned out. That's usually the most comfortable way for most people. Hips high, eyes high. You're going to hold that for 20 seconds. So I'll have the clock going for that, or you can just count the 20 as you go through that. So we're going to get y'all going. Five-minute warm-up. Let's go ahead and get started. Clock's going. So start out. You've got those 10 lateral band steps each way. Then you got the 10 banded marches each leg. I'm digging that. It's got the wiggle going over there. All right, Joanna's ready to go. I'm going to come back here to my computer, Joanna, so you're not going to be able to see me. Joanna, have you looked at the workout for today? So we're going to have, we got deadlifts coming up. So that's what I want to see. If we need to do glute bridges with a band around your knees, we can do something like that. Probably would be better. We'll do like some pauses at the top and just drop down slowly on those. So once we get through this five minute warm up, we're going to go for a jog two laps outside. Then we'll come back in, and I'm going to make sure you guys know what to do before you take off from that jog so we can get that equipment ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Get them knees out against that band. Wake it up. So 10 squats, and then you got the 10 banded clamshells each leg. Get that band. There you go, Joanna. That's it. Keep shoving those knees out. Got it, got it. Then you got 20 seconds on that reverse plank. Ten each side on those clamshells, Joanna. Ten each side. Got it. So once you get done with that reverse plank, we're going right back up, pulling that band around the feet. Going through it again. That's everybody coming in. Try to push the pace on this a little bit. Let's heat things up. Four, seven, eight. That one, all right, Joanna? We can always play around with that one, or we can just skip that one and just keep rolling through the other stuff if we need to. So we got about two minutes left.
but he's looking good. Let's keep it up. We'll go about a minute and a half longer. Then we got two laps outside at home. If we are not running, we're going to keep going through this as everybody here is running those two laps. And I'll be talking about how we'll do different movements at home while everybody's outside running the two laps. Almost there. We're going to head outside. I'm going to prop this middle door open. There you go. Make sure we push those knees out against that band if you're squatting. All right, y'all can go ahead and hop up. Let's go hit those two laps in the parking lot. We'll just throw that band right in the corner of your square. When you come back in, we need to get prepared for deadlifts. Turn that down. Go hit it up. Two laps, two laps. I'm going to change your slide uh, there, too, Joanna. Everybody at home. All right, so what we got coming up, and I'm going to talk about this again, but at home, we've got a 15-minute time cap. Here, they're going to be deadlifting with barbells, and then they're going to go, so you get a set of 10 on deadlifts, set of 10 on single arm curls, 10 each arm, and then band pull-aparts for uh, 10. So at home, if you don't have a barbell, and you do have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, Joanna, do you still have any of that stuff? You got some weights? Okay. So what we'll do there, we'll go to a single leg deadlift instead of a barbell deadlift. So I got to get that off the screen right there. So you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You can hold it in two hands if you want to stay more balanced. You can hold it in one hand like we normally do. We can do that staggered stance, brace that midsection, drop down, and come back up. So what we would do is go 10 of those each side. Then we go into 10 single arm curls each side. And then you switch arms. And then if you have a band... We're going to go 10 banded pull aparts. If you don't have a band, you can use really light dumbbells, do a reverse fly, or you can just turn the thumbs out and do those T's um, with a slight pause at the top for 10 reps. So it'll be 15 minutes, and our goal is to get through those movements five times. If you get done with uh, time left, then what we've got on the screen there, you can go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for pretty much any cardio movement you want. You can go jumping jacks bodyweight squats, jump squats, skaters, side to side, whatever works if you get done early. So that's what we're going to roll with at home. So specifically, Joanna, do you want to do, do you want to do the single leg? So you got the single leg deadlift option, or you can do, um, you can hold one weight, you know, you can do an RDL, or we can go to those glute bridges with the band on. Was that, that was a thumbs up. I'm sorry, I walked away. Good to go. All right, cool. So, and the warm up is included in that 15 minutes. So, you can do a few warm up sets and get things set up so you got time. So, I'm about to have everybody back in the room. And once we do, we're going to explain it to them. And then we'll get going with that 15 minutes. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ready to go? That's everybody from outside. All right, let me get your attention this way real quick. Take a break from getting your weights out for just a second. I muted myself. All right, so the way this is going to work, make sure you're listening so you have an idea of how this is going to work. We're going to put 15 minutes on the clock. 
and you have three movements to go through. We got them up on the screen. You want to go through these three movements five times, not counting your warm-up. So your warm-up is included in this 15-minute time cap. So you should get, I want everybody, you know, your warm-up needs to be focused on your deadlifts. So make sure you get at least two to three warm-up sets for your deadlifts. Remember when we warm up on deadlifts, we want to make sure that we are focusing on bracing that midsection. Remember, that's just creating a ton of tension, right? Like think like a pressure cooker and that steam's trying to come out and that lid's about to blow off. There's a ton of pressure. That's what we're trying to create even when we do light deadlifts. So remember when you set up, big breath in through that nose, belly expands, and then to lift the bar, we don't pull it. We don't stand up. We push the ground away with our feet and that's gonna create a ton of tension through your hips and it'll connect to this right here. So what we got, 15 minutes, warm up, uh, two to three warm up sets on your deadlifts. And then we want five rounds with 10 deadlifts, 10 single arm curls each side with the palm up. Um, if, if we have enough weights, you're welcome to do that with two dumbbells as well. And then we're gonna go banded pull aparts for 10 reps, getting that big squeeze between the shoulder blades. So five rounds, five working rounds, 10 deadlifts, 10 curls each arm. 10 banded pull aparts. And then I've already talked to them about what they're gonna do at home while you guys are outside running. So go ahead and grab your weights. I'll give you about a 30 seconds to a minute and then I'll get the clock going. But remember, the warm up sets are included in that 15 minutes. So it's regulated on your own time. If you get done early, then we've got cardio at 30 on, 30 off. You can hop on a bike, you can do skaters, you can do jump squats, you can do jumping jacks, whatever works best for you if you get done early but you do not have, don't expect to get done early. We had a couple people get done early uh, at five. Let's get it going, get warmed up. If you got any questions, let me know. All right, so I got that clock going. We got 15 minutes on the clock, so remember, you're regulating this time on your own, five rounds plus warm up. So at home, go ahead and get started. Oh, there you go, Joanna, that was perfect. That feel good? Let's go straight down. Sometimes on that, if you need to, you can put two hands on the weight if you want, but if that back feels good and everything feels good, you rock out whatever feels comfortable. I like that slow pace. So yeah, everybody at home, if we're doing single leg deadlifts, remember we're gonna go down a good, breathe in, still brace just like with the barbell and then go down nice and slow, come back up and squeeze those glutes through tight on that working side. So 10 each leg, then go to your 10 curls each arm, and then your 10 banded pull aparts. Look at that, there we go. All right, so remember we got that clock running, so you should be rolling into those warm-up sets. Yeah, we have started. So you got 15 minutes to get five rounds. Deadlifts, curls, banded pull apart. Get it going, remember that brace. Try to hold tight throughout that entire set. Does anybody else want chalk? You just want to get it to dry if you haven't used it. You know it's dry when your whole hand turns white. It's not a big, I always, I put it all over my ring. Come on. There you go. Anybody else need it? Okay. I'm going to get me a little tool belt, put chalk on it.
Remember, we want that flat back, mostly pushing through the heels on those deadlifts, but we are grabbing the ground with the toes. Use that whole foot to your advantage. The more that foot we can use to grab the ground, the more muscles we can use throughout that lower body. Oh, that's a good setup, Susan. That was money. There you go. Remember, we shave the legs of the bar, keep that bar in close. Beautiful setup. That was money. Good setup. There you go. There you go. He's got the sleeveless shirt on for a reason today. Friday is Flex Friday. So we are already about three and a half minutes down. Joanna, that looked good. That was a good flat back. Keep that nice slow pace going down. And I didn't see, but you know, you can do two-handed curls with that kettlebell if you need to. I didn't even see what else you got. There you go, Angie. Got it. Got it. Remember, we are shaving the legs with the barbell. Keep that barbell in close. This is our third week doing these with a, with a barbell if you've been here. So you can, uh, you do have the option to progress and wait. But 10 reps is still a lot, so just be aware of that. When we do sets of 10, that's what will leave you really sore, whether it's your back a little bit or your hamstrings or your butt. Keep rolling through about five, six minutes in. All right, let's keep digging now. We're just over halfway. Oh, I love the double dumbbell hold, Joanna. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little grip strength work out of that. Perfect. Ten each side. All 
Everybody's looking solid on these deadlifts. I'm seeing a lot of good flat backs. Everybody's keeping that barbell in close to the legs. That's the important stuff. It's important. You've got to maintain those habits. You got plenty of time. If you get done early, we can go to that cardio. If you want to hop on a bike or a rower here, you can, or you can go into those body weight movements. Yeah, y'all have a good, good timing. There you go, Angie. You got it. If anybody needs that chalk, I got that chalk. Good work. Solid, Michelle. It's good. Where's this coming from? Remember, we're digging those heels in as we drag that bar up. That's it, Laura. That's it. Squeeze tight. Squeeze tight. Like that breathing. Come on, you got it. You got it. Tighten up. Tighten up. Yeah. All right, should be probably coming up into that fourth set here pretty soon if you're not already there. If you're flying through, remember we got that little bit of extra cardio coming up. So we got that last five minutes. Keep rocking, Joanna. That looks good. We can progress these over time, too. We can elevate your back, go on a bench or go on anything. Or we can put your feet up on something, too, and do those same movements. Just gives you a little bit deeper angle. Oh, you're not hearing me? Type it in. So I was just saying on those glute bridges, we can change the angle, like we can elevate your feet up onto something, and then you can get deeper with your hips as long as that feels okay. Think about going up? I feel like you were contemplating adding weight. Let me get you some. I didn't just sit. Everybody heard it now, right? <laughs> what do you want? I'll, I'll I'll bring you I'll bring you a beer. I'll bring options. Right on, right on, right on. Let's go get it. That's that. It was that last set. Just take your time. I know ten reps is a lot, so take your time. Reset and brace. It's not cardio, right? We're still working on building strength. So you can stop in between every rep, reset that spine, breathe in, hold tight. There you go, Angie. You got it. Yeah. Remember, think we're going to drag that barbell up your legs, dig those heels in. Yeah, you can just use that clock right there on the bike if you want to, Ann. You know, like once you get going, I won't let you go past that clock. I'll let you know when we're done. Unless you want to look back. There you go, Susan. All right. Two and a half minutes. Let's get it. Yeah. 
Hey, when you're when you're done, we'll take the barbells and put them on the rubber floor because we got sled pushes coming up today. Got it. Knees out. Knees out. Push those knees against your arms as you come up on that deadlift. Good work, Stephanie. Good job. Good job. Should be getting close to finishing up. When you're done, we're going to go ahead and take the plates off of these bars and slide them out to that rubber floor. There you go. About one minute left. We got it. Looking good, Joanna. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. We got about 45 seconds left. Like the little hole. You didn't have to do that, but that looks good. Thirty seconds left. You're on the bikes. Let's go. Just pick it up and go. You got about 20 seconds. Hey, what we'll do, y'all can just when you're done. We'll just, just roll them all just over to here. That's easier to push back out on the floor. Got it, Devin. You got it. All right. So our time is expiring. Let's go ahead and finish up the movement you're on. Remember, we'll unload those barbells. We're going to push them all over towards the front of this rubber flooring right here. You can just put your clamps in your little corner. We just want to have room for sleds. At home, y'all feel free to go grab some water. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change your slide at home because you got something different than what we're going to be doing here because we're breaking the sleds out here. So if you look, I've got the sled push on your slide at home. Um, but if you look down towards it, I can put my, let's see, hold on. If you look towards, oh, this is really hard to do, <laughs> towards that section. Um, drop squats for 10, and then burpee with a lateral shuffle for 10. So you go through those, take about a 30-second break in between those two, and then go right back at it, and you just continue for 10 minutes. We're going to be doing drop squats and a sled push here. So remember, drop squats are where we – get out of her way. We touch the floor and then come up with the feet together and go back down, touch the floor. So if you can get where you can hop, you can do that or you can just take the feet out and squat. So 10 reps, and then burpee with a lateral shuffle where we drop down into our burpee, shuffle over, let's say like five yards, drop down, shuffle back over. So it's up to you if you want to go all the way down to the floor on that. You can step back if you need to. You can do that bear crawl walk out on that if you need to as well. But we'll get everybody going together. We should be ready here in about a minute. And we're going to go hard, going hard. Got it? That already good? Are these done? Okay. Let's see if I got some wipes. Remember, we'll push those barbells off onto the rubber floor. Then you can get into a group. We're going to have three sleds running, so we can keep a little bit of space in between you.
sleds are extra tacky on that ground today. Liam, I'm going to try to drag that one all the way over to the side right there. Thanks, sir. You can leave it right there, Michelle. It'll be fine. All right, we got everything out of the way. So we are going to team up. Get set up for these. That was in the goal, by the way. That was a goal kick. All right, so we got our classic BFP 10 minute sled push relay. We're going to have three sleds out. Um, so ideally, what do we have? We got, I think we got 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 10. Ten. Oh, there's one there. Okay, so yeah, so let's get two people to a sled down there. What, hey, you can change the weights up if y'all want to pop. If there's two 45s on there, I think I got one on there, right? Yeah. So let's get everybody. All right, there's plenty of people. Everybody else, come down here. So we got Angie, Devin. I'm gonna get you right here in the middle. Stephanie, you're gonna be over here. We'll go, Michelle. You can go. Y'all are gonna be sharing this middle sled right here. Yeah. Yeah, you can come right here. All right, so y'all got three. So if y'all need to rest one time, y'all can rest. Liam, Ricky, y'all got three to your sled. So if y'all if y'all get to where you need to rest a little bit, you can just watch one person go and then pick it back up. Because we're going to have four people at the other two sleds. All right, so what we got, we're going to go 10 minutes. Remember, you push the sled down, then the other person brings it back. Remember, when we push a sled, we want to get as long as we can from head to toe. Get those feet behind you, and it's that knee drive and staying on your toes the whole time. When you finish your sled push, then you step over to the side, and we're going to go into 10 jump squats quick as soon as you're done pushing that sled. So we had not pushed the sled in a while. Your quads are going to get super tired on this, but you do get to rest a little bit because you got teammates doing this with you. So at home, we talked about what we've got coming up. I'll get my remotes. We're going to put 10 minutes on the clock. And then after this, we're going to go into some mobility work. So this is the last part of your workout today. We're going to rock here in about eight seconds. Let's get the energy up, get a little bit loud, cheer some people on, wake up. All right, three, two, one. I'm going to tell you those sleds are tacky. They hadn't been moved a lot lately. You got it. You got it. Wiggle it. It's tough. You got to get them moving. Get real low on it. Come on. Go. Go. They're tacky on the bottom. I'm telling you, they were. You might have to start light to get used to them. There you go. You gotta rev, you gotta rev it up. Hey, we'll use those blue lines. That's your starting position. So just go right around that blue line and grab it and go. Remember, you gotta get super low on these to get them going because they're very, very, very tacky right now. They're hard to get going. Just because they haven't moved in a while, and this turf's been cleaned several times. There you go. That's it. That's it. It's, oh, there we go. Good job, Jess. Good job, Jess. They're tough to get going. You got to get real low. Remember, job squats. We're going to bring the feet together in between. So go real wide and squat down. Got that, Joanna. That's it. So you just go five of those each side on those burpees. I like that little pause. Now we're rolling. Oh, the three-person sled's going to be fun. Got that, Stephanie White. Oh, the sled's actually going now. Good work, Devin. Good work, Devin. You got this. Now we're rolling. Now we got the sleds moving. It's like you have to warm the tires up on them or something, right? Like, I don't, I don't really understand it. It's like a NASCAR. So remember, you're all on that three-person sled. If you got to take a break for one person's turn on another sled, do it. Because that three-person sled can get really rough. Got it, Joanna. 
I like that face. Good work. Good work. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. I love it. Love that pace. Got it, Michelle. Let's go. Let's go. Keep digging. Don't lose those shoes. Don't lose those shoes. You got that. Uh, she made it all the way with her heels out. Hey, Michelle, if you tighten them up, like pull them real tight, sometimes it helps. All right. You got to rev them, rev it up. Get those tires spinning to get that sled going. All right, all right. Keep it going now. Keep it going now. We got this. Yeah, you're good, Laura. You're good. Remember, just use that last blue line. You got you to gotta rev it up. You got to rev it up. There it is. There it is. Good work, good work. Killing it, folks, killing it. I know those sleds are tacky. I know they're tough today. If anybody's going to do it, this group's going to rock it out. Got that, Stephanie. Come on, Stephanie, keep pushing. Keep pushing. You got it all the way. Yeah. Let's get it, Jess. Let's get it, Jess. Come on, come on. Quick feet, quick feet. Good work, good work. Good work, Joanna. You might like those bear crawl walkouts, you know what I'm talking about, like better than a burpee because you can get some mobility work in there just squatting down deep and walking your hands out or treat it like an inchworm. Yeah, good work, Liam. Looking good, buddy. Looking good. Let's keep rolling. Keep pushing. Get it and go, Susan. You're ready. We got about just over, just under six minutes left. Keep cruising. Keep cruising. Come on now. Come on now. Keep cruising. Good work, Joanna. Good work, Joanna. Go, Susan. Go. You there. You're good to go. All right. Shoes are holding up. Come on. You got it. Your right shoe is staying on tighter than your left shoe. <laughs> all the way, all the way to that line. You got that, Michelle. Yeah, bring it down, and McDonald. You got to go one footed at that point. Start jumping. It's it tough when the shoes come up. Keep going. We'll make it all the way. We'll get all the way before that shoe pops off. You're good right there. Come on, we're ready, we're ready. Y'all got this. All the way, Jess, all the way. Keep digging, keep digging. Rock those toes now. That's what I'm talking about. Good work, good work. Yeah. All right, we are past that halfway point. Got just over four minutes left. Let's keep cruising. Love those walkouts, Joanna. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, Devin. Key is don't catch the sled flu. Let's get it, Michelle. Let's get it. Choppy steps, quick choppy steps. There you go. Now we're rolling. Remember, if you get those little choppy steps going, that'll usually help you get rolling. Good work, Lassiter. Let's go. Killing it. Killing it. Come on. Come on. All the way. Come on, White. Come on, White. You got it. That a girl. You got it. Keep, keep chopping. Keep chopping. Come on. Keep digging. Keep chopping. Get to that blue line. Oh, I know that was rough. That's money. You're good. Rest. You're good. Go, Laura. Come on, Laura. Keep it up. Keep going. We got it. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Three minutes now. So we are under three minutes. Under three minutes on the backside of this thing. 
And all we got left after this is some mobility work. Come on, you got it. You got it now. Let's go. Remember, we got those 10 drop squats after you get done with that sled push. 10 drop squats. All right, Jess, let's go. There you go. Way to get it going. You got it. Come on. Fast feet. Fast feet. Good job. All right. Two minutes now. Two minutes now. Keep pushing. Good work. Let's go, Hoover. Keep digging. Keep digging. About a minute and a half left. Minute and a half. Looking good, Joanna. You got it. Yeah, Michelle. Come on. Come on, we got it. There you go. Way to dig in. Way to dig in. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, we got it, Stephanie. We got it. All right, last minute. Last minute. Let's get all the way. Come on. Way to dig. That's grit right there. That's grit. Way to push through. All right, you ready to go, Lassiter? Come on, come on, get it and go. Get it and go. And a girl, that's it. Yeah. Come on. Hey, 30 seconds. Let's go. What can you get done? Y'all got it. Keep moving at home. Everybody at home, keep moving. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Got 24 seconds left. Don't stop. All we got left is a stretch after this. Go, go, go. Breathe now. Breathe. Good job. Good job. All right. Bring it back, Angie. Bring it back, Angie. We'll finish up with that. You got it. Just go past that blue tape. Let me switch these slides up. All right. Good work. Let's go ahead. We'll go back to those squares. Go back to your designated space. We're going to have some mobility work. Let me switch this slide up for you all at home. We got three mobility movements we're going to go through. All right, so we're going to have 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off for our stretching here at the end. So we're going to have the first one is a deep squat hold. So you can grab a weight, hold it out in front to help you balance. Really try to sink down into this without turning into a turtle too much. So work on keeping the chest up, driving the knees out, um, not letting your feet turn out too much because that's, that's going to negate the purpose of the movement. So we'll go 30 seconds on that. Then we're going to go to your back and go into a glute bridge march. So we'll drive those hips up high and hold, and then try to keep them in one position as you march slow. So establish that one foot, hold tight, and then bring that leg up. Then we're gonna flip over onto your chest and go into a Superman. So toes down, eyes down, thumbs up, lift and hold for a couple of seconds, and then come right back down. So we're going to go through those three, 30 on, 10 off, or 10 seconds to switch. We'll go through that twice. So if you need a weight, go ahead and grab it. We're going to get going here in about eight seconds. All right, let's go.
<laughs> Remember, use that weight to help you balance. Try to sit back onto those heels. So if you want to try to work on your ankle mobility, which is what most people need to help them attain a good squat, we need our knee to translate forward without our heel coming off the ground. So you can drop down, rest. Next time, work on letting those knees drift forward without your heel coming up. All right, so we're going to shift into that glute bridge, that alternating uh, march or alternating knee hugs. So see if you can hold your hips up. And each time, I, I didn't demonstrate it this way, but when you bring your leg up, I want you to actually grab it with your hands and pull it up and then switch. Remember, this is slow. This is like think methodical. Take your time. Even dropping the leg back down, I want you to try to do it slowly because we're working on stability in the hips. We're also stretching your front side a little bit because y'all just did a ton of stuff with that on those sled pushes. All right, rest. Make sure uh, we're going to go to Superman. Next time you go back to those blue bridges, I saw some people's feet. They'll come in a little bit because you're going to that single leg, but make sure we don't want to have our foot cranking out as you're doing that because you'll end up twisting your knee a little bit. All right, so we got that Superman hold. You can hold that a couple seconds and then go back down. We'll go 30 seconds on that. It's up to you. It's up to you. I would say I probably wouldn't be able to hold this very long if I had just done what y'all just did. Yeah. All right. Dead Superman. Superman who fell on the ground. All right. Let's go back to that deep squat. Hold. Get it. We're going. I got to cut that off of there. All right, take a break. Let's get ready for that alternating glute bridge. Remember with the knee hug. Let's go. So you can get that, get that, use that knee hug to force you to pause, but focus on keeping the hips high. Cut the wrong one off. All right, good to go there. Let's get ready for the Superman hold. Good. A little bit. Just try to work stuff on the back side so the stuff on the front side has to shut down because most of us are a little overactive with our quads, hip flexors, and abs. And done. Good work, good work, good work. Make sure we wipe that stuff down. We'll get those barbells back to the middle of the turf. Stop recording here.